good afternoon and thank you for tuning in to today's opening ceremony for the kickoff weekend of the Taft Winter Games. We are excited to celebrate the return of the Taft Winter Games of Texas being held right here in Victoria, Texas. The city in partnership with the Texas Amateur Athletic Federation are proud to welcome the games, athletes, spectators, and everyone to Victoria. 2023 will be the second year that the Winter Games of Texas have been hosted in Victoria, and we are excited about new additions this year, including archery, tennis, and softball. This expansion was only made possible through community partnerships and facilities, such as Victoria ISD, Victoria Country Club, and STX Archery and Outdoors. Did I mention that we are expecting more than 2,500 athletes across the state of Texas and beyond during the game's three weekend series, starting this weekend and ending in March. Now that is a lot of visitors to Victoria. Sharing more information about this exciting event and how it will benefit our community is Victoria Mayor Jeff Bauknight. Thank you. Howdy. I'm excited to be with you today to help kick off the Texas Amateur Athletic Federation Winter Games for 2023. Victoria is honored to have been selected as host of the 2022 through 2024 TAAF Winter Games of Texas. So we're officially into our second year of the Games return. As part of Victoria's Winter Games, we will be hosting a total of 10 sports taking place over three weekends, starting this weekend, then on February 25th and 26th, and concluding on March 4th through 6th. Starting tomorrow, Friday the 13th, um, through Monday the 16th, amateur recreational and young Olympic hopeful athletes will compete in these sports in various venues throughout the city, including those of the city of Victoria, Victoria Independent School District, Victoria Country Club, and STX Archery and Outdoors. We look forward to welcoming these athletes to Victoria and showcase why we are the choice sporting destination for Texas athletes. The games have full support of myself and the City Council. I want to thank our City of Victoria Parks and Recreation team for their hard work hosting this event. Mr. Jason Alfaro, the department's director, Mrs. Kimberly Zygmunt, is the assistant director and of course Mrs. Michelle Myers who is the team's new sports tourism manager. Thank you to the other city departments as well for providing support to the events. Thank you to all the sponsors and volunteers. We appreciate your time, talents and donations to make this a successful event. I also want to welcome all participants and spectators to our wonderful city. We hope you have a great time and enjoy not only the sports, but the other great aspects of Victoria. I hope that the Victoria residents will take time to attend the games if you haven't already signed up to volunteer for them. To quote the movie Grease, if you can't be an athlete, be an athletic supporter. Again, the city of Victoria is proud and honored to be the host of the 2023 TAAF Winter Games and we welcome everyone to the games and to Victoria. And now I'll hand it back over to Mrs. Myers. Thank you, Mayor. I echo the Mayor's comments about our excitement to host TAF in Victoria for the next few years. When you go to visit a place like Victoria, where there are plenty of wonderful and exciting things to do, we call that tourism. But when you do it specifically to play in a tournament, like the Taft Winter Games, we call it sports tourism. While you're on your visit to Victoria, we hope that you will take this opportunity to experience the life that we enjoy every day. Many of our businesses have put up signs to welcome you, and we encourage you to take them up on that offer. Go inside, see what wonderful things they have. Also, several of our restaurants and attractions have created special discounts just for you. I'd now like to welcome up Mark Lord, who is the Executive Director for the Texas Amateur Athletic Federation. 
Thank you, Michelle. Wow, you're two already. Two of three, two of maybe more. We are so excited about coming back for our second year. Last year was a great introduction to Victoria. This is our first no COVID games actually, where we don't have to worry about it raising its ugly head and affecting the games possibly. And we are really excited and the registration is showing it. We're up 20% just in, in swimming. And that is amazing. There are multiple sports this year that will be running two day events, which is impressive. And that's also a great thing for the residents of Victoria because they're going to be here staying in your hotels, eating food, buying things in your stores, and that is tax revenue that your city's bottom line is going to see. And we thank you for being our partner, and we just love being able to give it back. The, another good thing is the expansion, like Michelle had said, went from eight sports to ten sports, so we're expanding. We think that that increase in all of our sports will be translated this year, and we can't wait to see it. If you're wondering what those sports may be, they are adaptive basketball, archery, cornhole, disc golf, flag football, golf, pickleball, softball, swimming, and tennis. And to all the residents out there that want to maybe come out and take a peek at us, I encourage you to come out. You never know, you may be watching a future Olympian. You could be watching the next Dana Vollmer, three-time Olympic gold medalist world record holder, Michael Carter, NFL pro shot putter in the Olympics, RG3, Marquise Goodwin, or Louise Ritter. So come on out. The talent is awesome. Check it out. And I do want to thank all of our partners that are helping us with the TAP Winter Games. The City of Victoria, the City of Victoria Parks and Recreation Department and staff that we couldn't do without you, the Victoria Independent School District, the Victoria Country Club, STX Archery and Outdoors, we thank you all. Last, I'd like to present a plaque to the Victoria's mayor and city staff for the tireless work when they hosted our games last year and this year and just their overall participation within TAP. We want to recognize your commitment and we thank you for it. Mayor, congratulations. You, Michelle, congratulations. I want to thank you for joining us in this opening ceremony for the TAF Winter Games of 2023. Once again, this year's games kick off tomorrow, starting with archery and cornhole at 6 p.m. For a full schedule of this weekend's events, you can visit our website at www.victoriatx.gov slash tournaments. We continue to extend the invite for our business community and residents to be a part of the games by supporting the event with your sponsorship or attending as a spectator. And finally, we couldn't have an opening ceremony without officially kicking off this weekend's events with a hoorah. Are you ready, Mark? Absolutely. Are you ready, Mayor? I'm ready. All right. Let, Let the, the games, games begin. begin.